Hi, I'm Scott Picard with Verde Real Estate Group with today's real estate tip. Today we're going to talk about insurance, and with us is Jeff Thomas from MinStar Insurance. How are you doing, Jeff? Pretty good, Scott. Thanks for having me. Hey, thanks for being here today. So today we're going to talk about replacement versus actual cost when it comes to insuring your property. And I get this question a lot, and you know, Jeff, I think you're much better qualified to answer it. So what is the difference between replacement costs and... Actual, actual like cash, cash value. value. Right. Uh, good question. They're in the market, when people go to shop uh, an insurance policy or look for coverages, you'll find that replacement costs and actual cash value can be make a big difference in how a claim is paid out and where you're on the right side of the fence or the wrong side of the fence. Replacement costs is something where uh, the best example I could give you would be if you were to purchase that, let's say, Samsung 60-inch television, let's say, 10 years ago, right. and you know time has gone by and you lost it, let's say it was, uh, someone ripped off that television from your house. Uh, Which would be you know, awesome, yeah. Well, yeah. We, the insurance company would be in a spot if you had replacement costs, we'd have to go and find you that same like kind quality television at uh, whatever that market is at that time. So may, televisions have dropped in value. So in that case there, they'd probably, you know, if that television was $800, they'd give you $800 for that television. Okay. Versus actual cash value, think of it as kind of like uh, you go to a, a garage sale or, you know, on the website and you, you post that on, uh, um, that you're looking to sell that television. Think about what you can get for that. That would be actual cash value. So that so like television, fifty bucks, $50 or maybe they charge maybe. you to take it. Right, exactly. <laughs> so that's the difference between replacement cost versus actual cash value. So when when someone's looking at insuring their home, what do you? I mean, are we talking more personal property here, like you know, television kind of personal property, or would this be you know related to? I'm trying to think of an example, like. Shingles? The shingles. Yeah. Shingles is a great one because it's, it's one that I think probably comes up the most when there's a hailstorm or any other wind damage. It could play out in both sides. It could, you know, personal property along with real property, which would be the structure. So when you're looking, you want to make sure that you have replacement costs, especially on the dwelling coverage for the siding and shingles. Because what happens is when if you have a, a claim that's paid out, Example on that shingle, it's very likely when when you have a claim, the insurance company will pay out a percentage of that claim in the beginning to the contractor to start work. Okay. Where if you don't have the actual cash value, or I mean, you don't have replacement costs, you don't get that recoverable depreciation. Right. I was just gonna say. So if your if your roof is 15 years old, uh, with a lot of the insurance companies, depending on the coverage you have, they might say, well, you've got um, actual cash value, then we're gonna give you You'd have your deductible, then you'd have that depreciation, depreciation. that falls on your shoulders. Okay, correct. so you could be paying for more than half out of pocket. Oh, you sure could. Okay, okay. Uh, well, that's awesome. Um, <laughs> it's good to know, though, because I'm sure a lot of people aren't really analyzing their policy and understanding what you know what they're covering and for. And we're finding these days with the, the market the way it is, a lot of insurance companies are find, trying to find ways to cut costs or make their, their policies competitive, and this is one that's coming up often. So make sure that you, if you remember anything from this video, replacement costs versus cash, you always want replacement costs every time. So Awesome. So if someone wants to learn more about this, uh, how do they get a hold of you? Sure. Uh, you can reach out to me by email or phone. Uh, email is jeff, J-E-F-F, -F, at M as in Mary, N as in Nancy, star like a star in the sky, ins.com. Okay. And my phone number is 612-299-1299, option zero. Awesome. And I'm Scott Picard with Verde Real Estate Group. Like always, if you want to get a hold of us, we can be reached at 612-600-8888, 612-600-8888, or 24-7 online at verde-realestate.com. We hope this content has been valuable. Jeff, thank you. Thanks, Scott. And if you need any further assistance, please let us know. Thank you.